children welcome back so our next set of friends are e f g and h now let's look at what e f g and h have to tell us now let's start with our friend e and this boy do you see here his name is edmund e we don't say edmund we will say e e e e, e edmund so edmund came back from school and he said yay mama school is over now we are going to have five days of holiday to that edmund's mama said very good edmund come and sit i'm going to make your favorite egg omelet e e e e egg e e e egg edmund did not even wash his hands and started eating to that his mother said edmund go wash your hands and come and then come and sit edmund sat on the dining table while edmund's mother looked at the homeworks that edmund had got when she opened the pencil box she saw that edmund again had forgotten to bring the eraser this was the 10th time that edmund had forgotten the eraser at school edmund's mother was furious and she said edmund are you done with your egg omelet edmund said yes mama taking the last bite edmund's mother said edmund keep your eye on me when i talk to you okay and listen to me with your ears okay i'm going to tell you a story of a little elephant will you listen to me edmund said yes mama and he was wondering why all of a sudden edmund's mama is telling him a story then edmund's mama said edmund there was an elephant surprisingly his name was also edmund edmund elephant used to go to a animal school edmund elephant was very naughty very very naughty and every day he used to lose at least one thing from his pencil box either the pencil or the eraser or the sharpener or the ruler and edmund's mother emily elephant was very upset with edmund one fine day edmund's mother emily took edmund to a zoo and there she showed all the animals who were not getting proper treatment to that edmund said mama why are you taking why have you brought me here then emily elephant said edmund if you keep losing your stuff like the way you do i am going to keep you here in this zoo edmund got very scared and he said mama i will never repeat this i will never forget my things i will take care of my things emily said that's like a good boy and emily and edmund came back home happily this edmund was surprised mama why did you tell this edmund story to me edmund's mother said edmund if this is the way you keep losing your things you never know i can also keep you in the zoo edmund got very scared and he said mama i'm very sorry just like edmund elephant i will never ever forget my things okay so how many of you all have the habit of losing erasers pencils sharpeners rulers at school please remember these things that your parents bring has a cost to it so you should take care of these things just like edmund did so he said i will never lose my eraser and his favorite food was an egg omelet and he listened to an elephant story e e edmund e e elephant e e egg now let's move on to our next friend and this friend starts with f, f fish friend 
Okay. <coughs> now, this story is about a family. F family. F f family. So, when you say f, you first do f. Okay. Family. Family. All right. This family once went for a trip. How many of you are like going for trips? So, they went for a trip and at night it was really cold. So, the father of the family, father lit a fire. The father lit a fire and they were sitting there under the tree and surrounding the fire because it was very very cold. Then the father felt hungry and said to the mother, darling, do we have something to eat? I'm feeling very hungry. Then the mother said, of course. In the afternoon, I had made fish. I had made fish. So I have the fish still there in the casserole. Would you like to eat that? The father said, yes, of course. Then the mother went inside the tent and brought the fish, the, the fish that she had cooked for the family. While they were rejoicing the fish, they heard a sound, trr, trr, trr. and this little boy said, Father, what's that sound coming from? What is this sound all about? The father said, the sound seems like there is a frog nearby. F f frog. Then the frog came and jumped on to this little boy and he shouted, Papa, father, look at this, the, look at this little frog. He's trying to disturb me. The father said, let the frog be. Frogs do not harm. The little frog sat there for some time and left. The next day, all of a sudden, the weather become, became very hot and the father went inside the car and brought a fan for the family and they switched on the fan which was a battery operated fan and everybody took the air of the fan and while they were doing that they had put a flag near their tent it started flowering okay furling all right so the family had a very enjoyable trip wherein they lit the fire, ate fish, a frog came and they had good time. The next day while they were feeling very hot, they switched on a fan and the flag that they had put, their own country's flag, started flying high. So this is our friend F. 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 All right. So tell the story to your parents or your friends. Now let's move on to our next friend and that is Ch. G. G for G stands for G. You will have to. Now this I did because I wanted you all to remember F. Okay. Now I will kind of mark these all out because we've already discussed this okay and only look at this little girl whose name is Geeta G G Geeta G G Geeta okay Geeta is a girl Geeta is a girl G G girl G G girl so one fine day, Geeta went out of her house to find a good friend. Geeta did not have good friends. So she went out to find a good friend. But when she went out, she could find no one on the streets. So she came back home. Geeta's mother Gunjan asked Gita, Gita, where were you all this while? 
I was looking for you. You are a good girl, right? Why did you step out, step out of the house without asking me? Geeta said, Mama, I was getting really bored. I was getting bored. That is why I went out to find a good friend for myself. Geeta's mother said, Dear Geeta, you cannot find friend outside your house. You will have to make friends, just not by looking at people, but by knowing them well. So, the first person you should know really good or well is you yourself. You are a good girl. Try to find out all good things about you and write it on the notebook. And then try to find out about yourself. Try to make friendship with you. All right. Then Gita realized that friends just do not stand on the street and become your own friends. You first need to know yourself, all the good things that you know about yourself, and then try to find out good friends. Okay. So can you think of any other word that starts with G and quickly make a story? G. 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 Now let's look at our friend H. Friend H. And the sound that H produces is H. 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 So can you see a little boy here? Her name is Hari. His name is Hari. Hari was feeling cold. That's why he was wearing a hat. Hari was wearing a hat. Okay. Now, what Hari did was, because he was feeling very cold, he went out to get some fresh air. He kept on walking and walking and walking and walking. Then all of a sudden, he started feeling very hot. Ha, ha, hot. Hari felt hot. Ha, ha, hot. So he opened this hat, which is like a, a winter cap, and he wore summer hat. Ha, ha, hat. Ha, ha, hat. Then he started turning his hair and brushing his hair properly. Why? Because it was all sweaty because of heat. So a lot of water, a lot of sweat was dripping from his hair. So he started brushing his hair with his hand. Ha, ha, hand. He used his hand to brush his hair and get these sweat out of his hair. All of a sudden, he felt very tired because he was walking and walking and walking and it was really hot. Even though he was wearing a hat, he started feeling very hot. So, he found a hut nearby. He found a hut nearby. He went inside the hut and slept off. He went inside the hut and slept off. Okay, so this is H. Ha, ha, hut. So, what are the four letters that we saw here? E, F, G and H. E, we saw Edmund, Edmund elephant story we read. We saw that Edmund, just like the Edmund elephant, used to lose his stuffs at, stationary stuffs at school. Then we saw F, we saw a family, f, f, family that went on a trip and they ate fish. There was a frog, then they felt hot, they put on the fan and the flag that they had put started flying. Then we saw G, a story about Gita and Gunjan and who were both girls. Then we looked at H. Ha. Hurry was wearing a hat. He felt hot, so he wore a summer hat. Then his hair was like really sweaty, so he used his hand and brushed his hair. And then when he felt hot, he went inside a hut and slept off. Okay, you can use any story and tell your parents so that your parents also get very excited that now my child knows the sounds, letter sound and phonic sound. In the next section, we are going to look at I, J, K, 
L and M. So see you on the other side with short stories. Thanks for watching.